surface area and volume. So when you're trying to find the surface area of a um, geometric shape, you need to find the areas of all the sides of the shape and then add them together. So if we're looking at this um, right rectangular prism here, I'm going to write the formula for surface area. So surface area is equal to 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. So when I look at this figure, I first need to determine who's who. And it really does not matter which one you choose for which letter. So I'm just going to go in order. So this I'm going to call the length, this I'm going to call the width, and this I'm going to call the height. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write substitute my numbers in. So these are just variables here, and I'm going to put them into this um, expression. So I'm going to say 2 times 3.2 times 3.6 plus 2 times um, 3.2 times 2.1 plus, I gotta scroll down a little bit, 2 times 3.6, which is my width, times 2.1, which is my height. So I don't have a calculator with me right now, so you can do this by yourself and come up with your answer. And because it's surface area, area always is labeled in square units. So once you get your products for all of these three little math problems, you'll add those together, and then once you've added those together, you're going to label your answer in square units. Make sure you label your answer in square units. And in this case, it'll be square feet. Okay, second question. Oh, and then volume. So in order to find the volume of a right rectangular prism, it's the easiest thing ever. You just multiply your three numbers. So volume is equal to length times width times height. So all you're going to do is you're going to multiply 3.2 times 3.6 times 2.1. So 3.2 times 3.6 times 2.1. Now, because it's volume and volume is what something can hold, you're going to label your answer on this one in cubic because that would be what you would put inside of this figure, feet. Okay, next one. Um, this one you're just being asked to find the volume. So remember volume is equal to length times width times height. So we're going to do 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 third times 1 and 1 fifth. And you'll recall that in order to multiply fractions, or mixed numbers rather, you're going to have to make them into fractions. So I'm going to change this into an improper fraction. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4 times 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 over 3 times 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6 over 5. And you'll multiply straight across. So I've got 20 times 6, which is 120. I've got 20 times 3, which is 60. And then all fractions mean divide. So the volume of this would be the um, quotient of these two. And remember, when you're talking volume, again, it's going to be cubic, because you would fill this with cubes, yards. OK? Next question, you're finding the surface area and volume. Remember, surface area is equal to 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the height times the width plus 2 times the length times the height. Substitute your numbers in, get your answers. And then the next one, the volume is equal to length times width times height. So you're going to first figure out who's who. So this will be your length, this will be your width, this will be your height, and just substitute it in. Remember, surface area is labeled in square units, and volume is going to be labeled in cubic units. Okay, and then the last one. It's another one you're being asked to find the volume. So volume is length times width times height. So you're going to do 3.2 times 2.1 times 3.6. So 
and label your answer in cubic whatevers. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is um, if you had a geometric shape like this and it was 2 by 3 by 1 and a half, and you were being asked to fill it with cubes that were a half inch long. So right now, if I was filling this with cubes, I would just do 2 times 3 times 1 and a half. And that would tell me how what the volume of this was. But now I'm putting in half inch cubes. So if I'm putting in half inch cubes, it means that I could get, so here's my blocks, that's my two inches there. That means that I could get one, one half inch cube, two half inch cubes, three half inch cubes, four half inch cubes on this side. And then on this side I could get one half inch cube, two half inch cubes, three half inch cubes, four half inch cubes, five half inch cubes, six half inch cubes. So here we could get four cubes. Oops, that's tricky to read. And here we could get six cubes. And here it's three cubes. So the question here is being asked how many cubes could you fit in there? And that would be what that would be.